We're going to go back to Asheville now and uh, Tamara Scott from our ABC station WTVD. She's been on the ground from the start. You saw her there in the pouring rain and hurricane on Friday and now she's there with the recovery efforts. Good morning, Tamara. Hey, good morning, Rebecca. Yeah, I was here in Asheville one week ago when we first started seeing those floodwaters rushing into these small towns. And when you finally got a look at the damage, it can seem like and feel like a little bit that the storm also took the spirit of this area with you. But that is not the case. I'm here this morning at beloved Asheville, where you can see behind me happening so many donations pouring in. These are cases and cases of water volunteers working so hard to get these supplies to people who need them the most. They have been boots on the ground since day one, even while their own homes or communities were destroyed. And that's what they were doing before the storm, and it's what they're continuing to do each day. Donations coming in from all over the country. They still need some water, clothes, dog food, cleaning supplies, hygiene products, and more. The spirit of giving is sprinkled all throughout the area. Here is a video of a family and a band of friends who've come to clean out homes in Black Mountain, and this is a nonprofit organization from Mississippi who've come up to provide hot showers and laundry services to families without it. Now, back here at Beloved, they're gearing up for another day to take out these supplies to some of those harder hit areas like Banner Elk, a bee tree. They're also going to be heading out to Old Fort and Burnsville. So there is a lot happening here, but the spirit is up. It's good, and these people are telling me that they are willing to keep working together, and that's how they're going to build their community back up. Back to you, Rebecca. Such a need there. And we're so grateful to you, Tamara, and the team there for covering this story from the start.